I'm going to uh, show you how to add video or audio to um, a page in my portfolio. So I'm logged in to the pages and collections area um, of my account uh, and I'm just going to use this test page to show you. So let's just open the test page. There's a little bit of content on here as you can see already. Now I'm going to go into edit mode and the first thing I'm going to do is to add some external content and that is a video uh, that I've got on uh, a YouTube channel. So in order to do that, I'm going to pick up this external media widget, just click and drag it and drop it over here. It's then going to ask me to put a title in. And to copy in a URL or an embed code. Now, video is video files are big. So the best way of adding them onto a um, my portfolio page is to host them in an area such as YouTube. You can see these little icons here, each showing different hosting services that are already available and supported. Um, if the, the one that you want to use doesn't happen to be supported, you can get in touch and we can see if we can add it. So in order to get that URL or embed code, I'm going to come to my um, YouTube video. This is the one I want to use. Click on share and just copy that URL. That's now on my clipboard. Now I'm going to come back into my page and paste it in. There are some uh, inf there's some information I might want to add here, but I'm just going to go with the defaults. I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm just going to submit that. And what you'll see is a preview turning up in my page. And it's as easy as that. If I just um, save and display the page because I'm still in edit mode at the moment, then you can see it turning up. And this is how it will look on the page. And obviously I can edit the, the layout and things as you've done already. Um, for audio, the process is the same. Essentially, one of the sites that I would use would be SoundCloud to host audio uh, because that's free. So if I've got an audio recording that I want to include, bear in mind that we really don't want long audios audio files but if we've got an audio file that we wanted to put in um, I'm just going to choose one from here and again I would use the share option so I will click share and from there you can see I've got a URL so I can use control C to copy that and again back in the page I can go back into edit mode and add this as an external source of media. So again, drag and drop it into the page. Pop that URL in here and let's give it a title as well. So this is SoundCloud recording. And again, I'm going to leave it with the defaults and save that and again you can see that that sound cloud, cloud recording is now showing up in the page again i'll come down to the bottom of the page display it and check that it is where i want it to be so there we go so adding audio and video uh, once you've uploaded it to a suitable sharing site is quite straightforward <laughs>